Hey, what's going on, my fellow YouTube viewers? I am back at it again. This is Figure Reviews 411 with this new item. Okay, this is a third party company. And um, I think it's Mix Max Studios, if I remember correctly. And they made a Deathstroke. Okay, so we're going to open them up. This is what he looks like in packaging, just to show you really quick. Two tabs, they fold uh, downward. That way you can open it and see for yourself. Actually, it's three tabs. I didn't see this one. Ah. Oh, man, it's tight. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what it looks like. Very, very nice. It almost reminds me of the Mesco type um, items. See, there's the logo, Mix Max. Stab of Hades is the name of the game because they had obviously copyright issues. They had to change the name. There you get a better view of it. You guys can see that, right? I hope so. I want to make sure you guys catch it all. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a... Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's like a... An aim feature. Something like that. You know, like he's looking through this hole. Alright, so... I am going to open them up. And see what's inside. It obviously gives you kind of like an easter egg of what you're going to... You're dealing with it's a little heavy not too heavy but it's pretty hefty so hang on tight guys we'll be back all right guys we're back on it now uh wow it's uh whew. look at that beautiful i remember seeing this guy last year and i'm like man i wonder if they're ever gonna release him i wasn't too fond of of the reuse of it looks like McFarlane toys, you know, um, and I wasn't too uh, impressed with that. I didn't like that, but then I started seeing the accessories it came with, and my goodness, oh my goodness, I don't know any of these names besides maybe uh, sniper rifle, one of these two, handgun. I don't know. This kind of looks like the Mesco version that came with the uh, Mesco itself, the Mesco version of uh deathstroke wow very nicely detailed i like that a lot so you get the figure he has um oh boy he has tape here too jesus i guess that's kind of good that way things don't fly all over the place it took a week to get here i got this from hk toy box that's HK Toy Box. It's a Hong Kong website. They taped every edge of it. Yes, they did. Oh, God. Actually, I'll probably leave it like that. Kind of, kind of like how it opens up like a box. Or like a book. All right. Oh, very nice. So, right when you open it, you'll get this, um, I'm going to call it a tassel. <laughs> and two little grenades in separate packaging. Oh, Lord. Oh my goodness. Wow. This figure out box feels real, real good. Really, really nice. I did not like, since it's hot right now in California, they left it outside in the sun. Okay. And yeah, he came in this weird type box looking thing. Looks like they put three different boxes together and taped them up that way. But it's in the sun, so it feels all the heat. The, they feel a little flimsy, so I don't know. Maybe it helps. So that's, let's see what's up. So, right away, double jointed knees. The leg. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of kick upwards. Hang on, hang on. Let me try to finagle with it. Oh, you, know, you won't get a lot. You could probably mess with it a little more, but a lot of these uh, straps are hindering that articulation. He does have thigh swivel. I'm sorry, thigh swivel. Calf swivel. Is That's how you say it. Um, it's kind of weird. It's like right here above the knee. 
you get a, a thigh swivel. So cab, thigh, double bend. The foot goes down that much, up that much, and you did a, you do get a nice um ankle pivot. Okay. The waist twist. And you get that much forward, not so much. Kind of figure that was gonna happen, especially with the promo pictures. Get that out of the way. Yeah. Uh, not so much back either. It's still not bad though. You get a tilt side to side, arms. Let's see. Go up about that far. Yeah, so you can hit that T pose. The amazing would say something like that. So, yeah, that nice T pose. And you, oh man, we'll go into the detail right now, but that's crazy. Oh boy, that popped off. Lordy. Let's see if we can put that back in there. Oh no. Not to worry, people. Hang on, let me see if I get this on camera. Let's see if I got a, looks like an easy fix. Oh lord. Okay. Got it back on. That's a double elbow right there. Ah, uh, you see the cloth is coming out now. Yeah, you gotta tuck it in, push the arm back on, and no problem at all. The cool thing about these, they're straps. They're very elastic, so they could get out of the way. You can move them around and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. I like that. You get wrist swivel. You get a uh, hand swivel and oh yeah you get a little bit of back and forth to wield his weapons properly the head whoo it's popping all over the place i'm telling you i think uh, the excessive heat is making it easy to pop off you can look up that far okay and he looks down pretty far as well a lot of these straps come off pretty easily not too bad but yeah, they're, it's, it's kind of good. I kind of like that. You know, that way a lot of stuff gets out of the way when you want to move this guy around. Yeah, you don't get a lot of movement. You don't get a lot of splits as well. It's almost like the McFarlane figure, except I found the McFarlane figure a little more annoying. He was nice, but eh, I don't like 7-inch figures, so that's just me, though. And now looking at the detail, this is... Fox leather? Fox leather? I don't know how to say that or if I'm even saying it correctly. But Fox leather is probably more uh, the idea. This is the design of him. The back. My goodness, it's beautiful. This thing is awesome. The head sculpt, very, very cool. Very, very anime. I like it a lot. So you can pop that off. I'm not sure... Nope, the peg was not supposed to come off, Lord. Let me see if I get that peg out. Yeah, you see the peg gets stuck to the head itself. You gotta push that in there and there. See? It's, it will stay in there. And these have their own individual peg holes. Let's see if I can pop this one on. So you get the skull looking type of head, which is kind of cool. Not my favorite. I like the classic version of it. And yes, the peg gets stuck on all of these. Jeez, man. With that trick, what you can do is just kind of like carve just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Oh, you also get a little bit of neck articulation, which is also very helpful. And for the third head, yes, you get three. You get this one. I don't want to push it all the way down because it gets annoying. And they will articulate all the same way. So that's kind of cool. The design and detail on this is very, very nice. I feel that uh, Arkham Origins type of Deathstroke. You do get uh, about six hands, including the two. That's seven, eight. Like I said, you get the staff here. Yeah, it's a staff is what I'm going to call it. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Ah. And let's see. All right, I'll, I'll show. I'll show. Let's see if he ends up looking really cool with these accessories. 
These are also taped down, which is a little annoying now. Come on, guys. It's getting a little annoying. Oh, my Lord. We all have our little tabs of tape. Oh, God. Okay. Setting them up there. Let's see here. I don't want to make this review too long for you guys, all right? In case I'm bored, boring you. <laughs> so, let's try the staff. If I can get it out of there. Yes. Very thin. Very nice. Uh, dang, I knew it was going to happen. It fits a little loose, okay? It does fit a little loose. Let me see. Maybe the grip is a little smaller on this other hand. Let me try this other hand. This is going to be the left hand now. Okay. Let's see if it fits this one a little better. Well, it's a lot smaller. Yeah, this one's going to fit. This one's meant for your staff holding hand. See? It, it does, it's, it fits a little more snug, a little nicer. To pose them. See? Yeah. So that's only for the left hand. Oh, wow. And it comes apart. That's cool. I did not know that. It comes apart. So that's also another cool feature. Again, the design, the detailing on these items are just amazing, amazing. I'm very impressed. Um, let's see the sword. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. To pull this out. Oh, that's a tight fit as well. Again, I think the left hand has the better grip on the items. Ah, it pops off. Yeah, see? Very, very cool. Very pleased with that. Fits nicely. That's the sword. Oh, my goodness. It's very uh, firm hold on there that the hands pop off. Put the sword back. And then put this hand back. And we will now get into the size comparison, which is, as a viewer, with other YouTube viewers, or I'm sorry, with other review guys, you know, all those guys out there, more popular, Sometimes I just want them to get the size segment out of the way because, man, you all want to know if it fits with six-inch figures. So let's figure that out now. <laughs> figure that out. You get it? No? Okay. All right. First up, this is a custom-painted retro Ben Riley Spider-Man. Holy moly. Can you see that? I don't think you can. There. Okay. He is definitely a lot taller than the 6-inch Marvel Legends. Yeah. Hey, this guy is like 7 inches. Maybe 6.4 or 5 inches. Yeah. So it fits. I mean, Deathstroke is a big guy. So it's not so bad. Next up is the Storm Collectibles Reptile. Okay. See that? This one, well, these are almost the same height. I actually pretty much like this here. This looks really cool. They also look really cool together. You can get that uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe crossover. Okay. That's not bad. I like that. Next up, you will... This one's going to be very obviously short. Oh, he fell over. This is the, well, modified... Snake Eyes. So, yeah, the G.I. Joe stuff is definitely going to be a lot shorter than most items. So, mm, whatever. Yeah, it's a lot tinier. Nah. And then lastly, you have the Mayfix um, Batman. 
which uh, it's a bummer, you know. He's a he's a bit taller. It's what he's yeah he's way taller. So oh well, but whatever. I mean, you could kind of like finick it, fudge it, you know. I guess it could kind of work. It's not too too bad. His proportions are not so big either, so I kind of like that. He's not as bulky as the Mesco, or at least I don't think so. I think Mesco was had a little thicker body. But you could definitely put him with the Mesco Batman. He'll look really cool, which unfortunately I don't have for you guys. I'm very sorry. But, yeah, I like this Batman. This Batman is my favorite. It's the only one I ever kept and, and just stayed with it. Well, that is all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe, comment. If you have any more questions, let me know. Share with your friends. Take it easy.